Good afternoon, family and friends. Welcome to the Work Nation. How are you doing? Hope you're doing well. It's a nice day. Sunny and cool. But you see how dry everywhere is. People quarantine themselves. I'm having social distancing. People scared of dying. Yet yeah, these people, most of these people believe there is God and there is heaven and there is hellfire. So those of you that believe in heaven, there is heaven. In other words, you believe there is God who is in charge of all that. Now that God did not prevent the coronavirus. Look at the environment, everywhere dry. I thank coronavirus for that. So if this God exists, he failed to prevent coronavirus. And you that believe that God exists and he has a mansion for you in heaven. There is heaven where you will go after life. Then why are you afraid of dying? The same goes to everyone, even those of us that believe that in recognition that there is afterlife. So why are you afraid of death? I'm not afraid of death. I'm not afraid of dying. I am not. But that will make me to go close to a white person, which I know they have coronavirus. I run away from them. <laughs> That's what I do. It's common sense. All right? I don't need any God to tell me that. So I'm speaking on what I titled, Faith is not knowledge. Faith isn't knowledge. Faith cannot give you knowledge. It is by faith, by faith that people believe that no one can say a thing, a come to pass, when the Almighty God has not allowed it or have not said so. Which Almighty God? It is people who say things. What people say will come to pass or may not come to pass. It's not a must what you say come to pass. It's not a must what people say come to pass. There's no almighty God commanding anything or ordering anything anywhere. It is people who are saying things. Sometimes it comes to pass. Sometimes it won't come to pass. People have been saying things about coronavirus and now it came to pass. And people are, are freaking out about that. But why you are you freaking out? If you are not a believer, I understand you are freaking out. If you are not a, 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 a taste, somebody that believes in God or heaven, I understand you are freaking out. But if you believe in God and there is heaven, why are you freaking out? Why are you saying one word or that want to kill us all? Why are you saying it's, it's man-made? It, it's that. Why are you giving those excuses when you believe in God and the heaven? Why can't you die and go to heaven? It is good thing for you to be with your father if your father exists. Like you are in Africa suffering, but your father is in America. And the only way you can come to America is for you to jump into the train, into the the, the airplane already prepared for it's already paid for that is like your visa your, your airplane and your ticket for you to go to heaven that's what debt is to everyone who believe in god all you have to do is to just enter the plane that's it enter the flight is it's already paid for you are not paying for anything your visa everything is already signed and sealed and delivered to you just die that's how you go to heaven but you're afraid of dying. You hear men of God, ministers of God, all they have for the solution for coronavirus is quotation of the Bible and prayers. That's it. Of the Bible and prayers. They quote Psalm 91. He that dwell in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Where the shadow of the Almighty is killing everybody, both Almighty and everyone that believe in Almighty. Coronavirus is killing them. No, you cannot see Almighty in Mecca anymore. You cannot see Almighty in Vatican anymore. You cannot see Almighty in those churches. They close down. It will, it, it, will it not be a shameful thing for you to attend church, mosque, synagogue, or uh, again, after being all of them being closed down by coronavirus? 
and you will still continue going there because faith rocked the brain. When you open the brain of the believers, when you open the brain of the taste, what you see is the magos of faith, of, of, of lies and deception. That magot is there. Can you feel like scratching that? Take those magot away. It is called faith and beliefs, lies and deceptions. Take it away. Imagine the, the, imagine the magos, you know, in your brain, in your head. Scratch it. Take it out. And that's what we must kill in the minds of our people. The magos of lies and deception, also known as faith and beliefs, religion brought among us. And many people that embrace that is living a fake life. They tell you, no one can say anything that come to pass if the Almighty have not commanded so. Which Almighty? Which, who has commanded you to close down your church? Who has commanded you to close down your, your mosque? Who has commanded you to close down your synagogues? Almighty God, think. Who has commanded you to quarantine yourself? Who has commanded you not to go to work? Many people will lose their job because of coronavirus. Now it is people, government, who are making plans to pay them because of the coronavirus, to bear them out. They are calling on, 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 on scientists to come and develop med, uh, uh, cure, vaccine for coronavirus. No one is calling upon God because they know God has failed. For the fact God allowed coronavirus to, to, come, to come forth or to become a reality that kills people, it shows that God is a failure. And anyone calling upon that God is a failure. Like Bishop David Oyedebo, you hear that, see that video on my wall? I, I save it, I will make it more. I will spread it. He's educated and anointed fool. A chief thief. Who is the ass? He was a, le a, a lecturer in the university in Nigeria before he jumped into the wagon of thieves and robbers. Call ministers of God, robbing the poor and the gullible of their hard earned money. He said, enough. You are saying enough to coronavirus? You are stupid. Trump was that stupid. He thought he would, he would disappear by miracle. Oh, no. He said, hoes. My, my political opponents are using it against me. It's just a hoes. Just like the Russia, just like the, um, all the hoes that have been making. Russia hoes, uh, Ukraine hoes, all that. Educated fools ruling the world because of wickedness people that hate science ruling the world because of wickedness they know wickedness and they decided to be wicked when they say they are politicians they are wicked they chose to be wicked you cannot be a nice person and be religious i mean be religious or polit uh, pol politician you, you, will, you will just separate yourself from it because politics must corrupt you. Religion must corrupt you. There's no amount of knowledge you have. There's no amount of power you have said that you will overpower religion and the politics by joining them. No, they will, they will rot your brain. My God. My God. My God of faith and beliefs. My God of lies and deception. Rotten, you know, their brain. Bishop Oyede were praying against coronavirus. Say he's casting it out of the planet. <laughs> that guy is stupid. Ordinary, I mean, malaria that is stronger than coronavirus has been killing people in his own village, in his own place, even in his own church. He cannot cast them out. But they think, oh, because let us this shame, we will not let this shame last. When they are praying against coronavirus, they are just covering their shame. They are evil. All those men of God are evil, impostors, criminals. And it's a shame that you still believe them for any reason. It's a shame. They have destroyed lives more than any other thing in this world. Ministers of God have destroyed lives more than weapon of mass destruction. And they use the holy book to do that. Killing people in the name of God. Killing people in the name of Jesus. Killing people in the name of religion. And tomorrow, and you will see them being against abortion. Being against masturbation. 
being against anything you will do to help yourself out of your predicament, they're against it. But in the name of their God, they do worse. In the name of their God, they accept worse. Because faith is not knowledge. Faith cannot give you knowledge. No matter how educated you are, if you have faith in imaginary God, you are stupid. Because faith is stupidity. Faith is spirituality. Faith is stupidity. Faith is not fact. When that holy book tell you that faith is the substance of things, no sin and evidence of things hopeful, that show you that that book is corrupt. That book is evil, written by evil people. Telling you that faith is fact. How can faith be fact and there is coronavirus? If faith is fact, by faith, coronavirus will disappear. Coronavirus was developed in the lab. And they backfired against those who develop it and start killing them. It became a pandemic. But the one that we are killing us was not, uh, we are not pandemic. Those one, oh, it's for virus, it's for them, it's for them, it's not pandemic. Those people, they are the one that have, don't go close to them. The same way they avoided black people during Ebola. The same way they avoided black people during HIV virus. They are the one that created all that virus. And you don't want me to avoid them. I have, I'm avoiding them the same way. I don't want to be close to any white person. Not that I will catch it, but I'm doing it to show them. I am mocking them the same way they mock us. It is called fairness. It is called justice. It's called equity. Be fair. Be fair and just. Be fair and just in your judgment. Be fair and just in your living. That's the way you can live the, the true life. Life of faith is fake life. If there is God, there will be no coronavirus killing any believer in the world. My co-worker say, oh, there's too much population in the world. That's why God allow it. Say, fool, see empty lands everywhere. Who tell you the world has been overpopulated? Who say that? How can you tell me the word about, in my own village, we have mass of land that, you know how many years it will take for people to build a house there? Is there any place in this world you don't have empty land? If you look behind me, empty land. How about all the parking lots they have everywhere in America? Empty land. They have desert, they have forest. They have places that people have not occupied, yet they tell you overpopulation, just defending their God. I say, and you are worshipping the God that allow virus to be killing people? That God supposed to have all power? That God supposed to know all things? And you see the ministers of God? Why Bible say that God cannot do, uh, do anything? I mean, without revealing it to his servants, the prophets. In other words, they know what will happen. But they, they, none of them know coronavirus will come 2020. They still saying, I decree. I decree, we decree, decree what? Decree nonsense. It's because the world is corrupt and the government and the politicians, they are the government and the religious people, they are one. That's why you still see all those men who call themselves men of God deceiving people. It's talking rubbish. As I said yesterday, that one in America, he said, oh, one in black people, do not take vaccine. If you take vaccine, the, the, the virus is in the vaccine. Don't take it. Then what happened to the Holy Communion you have been taking? What happened to the blood of Jesus? What happened to the power of God? What happened to if you drink any deadly thing, it shall by no means hurt you? What happened to all those lies in the Bible? He said, we give you peace and prosperity. What happened to that? Health and prosperity from God. Where is it? They promise you all that nonsense. And they say they know who they are. Faith cannot give you knowledge. Faith is anti-knowledge. Faith is anti-science. Faith is anti-fact. Faith is anti-truth. Faith is fiction. Knowledge is fact. Understand that. Without fast, you don't have knowledge. You can't have knowledge without fast. You need fast to have knowledge, not faith. If you have faith, yes, you say you believe in God. That's all you can say. 
you say i still believe in god that's what you said that you still believe and so what it cannot change your life cannot change anything you still suffer like every other body every other person you still suffer like even like animals you still suffer like them you say by faith you are god cause women with child uh, bed pain and they say by faith they will be saved have you seen any woman by faith that doesn't have child bed pain since they believe in god huh have you seen them no but they still believe in we must believe because they are living in fear every faith is based on fear not on facts faith is based on fear fear of god unknown fear of punishment fear of judgment fear of wrath that's why it is called faith it has no fact in them there is no wisdom in faith there is no knowledge in faith there's no understanding in faith all that they wrote in the bible especially hebrew chapter 11 is all lies you cannot have knowledge by faith you cannot have facts by faith you cannot have truth by faith no you can only have lies and deception by faith they force you to believe that something that is not real is real you say okay i believe let there be peace leave me alone i want to leave faith is not knowledge you cannot climb the hill in your village by faith you climb it by fat using your force you climb it when we when i was growing up in the village you know bicycle there's a, a hill it's a small hill called uh, uguami and also the other one called ugunko we used to show who we who we used to challenge who we who we ride the bicycle up to that hill without stopping non-stop you ride from 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 down to the top of the hill and that's young people mm, mm, mm. you made it your pan you pan your chest you made it the same thing happening is supposed to happen in your life when you succeed pan your chest praise yourself stop praising imaginary god stop pra praising imaginary being and stop blaming imaginary devil imaginary beings stop blaming them stop praising them praise yourself blame yourself if you do well blame yourself if you do if you do if you do not well blame yourself be just and fair in your judgment stop living by faith live by facts learn from the corona coronavirus pandemic or epidemic or experience or incident this should be an eye opener to you since you don't want me to open your eyes since you don't want the truth and speaking to open your eyes let the coronavirus open your eyes where is your god i'm asking you that question in psalm 115 he said why should the gentiles said where is their god he said our god is in heaven he does what pleases him what pleases your god in this coronavirus can you tell me what pleases your God with this coronavirus? People dying pleases your God. Of course, your God is a murderer. Your God is heartless. The God that ran the whole world. And you say, your God, our lives matters. God, don't desire anyone to perish. Bullshit. If there is God's mercy, there will be no, no, nobody will perish. And if there is God's truth, nobody will be speaking lies. As they are speaking to you today in the name of God and people are believing them the bullshit they are selling in the name of God understand that faith rot your brain religion rot your brain it will not allow you to think as normal human being that's why you will say you are the sheep of God you are calling yourself animal and you are proud of it you are calling yourself idiot and you are proud of it. But when I'm the one that call you that idiot, you get upset. You say, my word is insulting. My word is, in you are insulting me. No, you are the one that insult yourself first. You insult yourself by embracing God. You insult yourself by embracing that, that you are a sheep. You say you believe in Jesus, he's your shepherd, that you are the, his sheep. He say his sheep hear my voice and follow me. Why are you not hearing the voice of that Jesus now? 
and you will open your mouth to defend the same God. A sheep coming to argue with, I don't argue with sheep. If you believe in God, I have no argument with you. If you believe in Jesus, I have no argument with you. If you believe in angels, I have no argument with you. If you believe in Satan, I have no argument with you. If you believe in demons, I have no argument with you. If you believe in imaginary being, it doesn't matter your age and your level of education and exposure, I have no argument with you. You are animal. Human beings don't argue with animals. Any human being that is arguing with animal, you will see, you will say, what is wrong with that person? Something is wrong. You don't argue with your sheep. When I was living with my grandmother in my village, we have sheep. I take them out in the morning and they in, in the evening, I, we bring them back. Whether they like it or not, we don't, we don't argue with them. We just go, they'll be crying behind us. Bah, bah. Oh, you must go. We go and tie them in the bush. And that's what faith does. Faith tie you in the bush and you begin to eat grass. You begin to eat lies and deceptions in the name of God. You don't have knowledge. Anyone that believes there is God Almighty in heaven, in charge of creating and controlling this world, that person don't have knowledge. They say it is knowledge of God. There is no such thing as knowledge of God. Knowledge is what you know, what you can feel, what you can handle, what you can use, what you can look upon. Read it in your Bible, 1 John chapter 1, verse 1. They wrote that, yet they use it to deceive you, the same book where that thing is. He said, no, you can, you are, we have not known how God is. He said, but when we see him, that's after death, we will know as he is. But he said, you know the God you serve. He said, no. He said, if you don't love your brother whom you have seen, how can you say you love God whom you have not seen? Nobody has seen God, yet some people say they believe God and they have knowledge of God. The same book tell you how to prove even facts. If you believe there is word of life, they say they have looked upon it, they, they handled it. They touch that Jesus. But why can't you touch Jesus today? Even after you read, you read a place like Luke chapter 24, 36 to 34, I mean, 43. Why can't you ask yourself, if they saw Jesus, and Jesus said he has flesh and bones, just like myself, so I can see Jesus and touch Jesus also. If Jesus said, touch me, I want to touch Jesus. Not by faith, but by facts. He said, our hand have handled. If your hand have not handled Jesus, and you say you believe in Jesus, you lack knowledge. You are a sheep. In other words, you are an idiot. You are animal. I can call you any animal I want because you say you are a sheep. It's time you wake up and stop being a fool by faith. Stop being a blind idiot by faith. Stop saying you know when you only believe. Faith limits your thinking. Religion limits your thinking. Religion gives you delusion, illusion, and hallucination. It can never give you knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. You are the one that will rise up to do your own research. Ask questions. Question everything and worship nothing. And begin to embrace factual truth. That's the only way you can live your real life. You see how people that have faith are praying to know God's purpose for their life. There is no such thing as God's purpose for your life. God has no plan for you you are the one that will develop plan if your parents have plan for you good if they don't you can have your own plan live your life how do how how have you planned to live your life how are you living your life find something good doing whether in your village in your city or in abroad where you are living find something doing and live a contented life a life without stress a life without covetousness a life without fear of unknown a life without uh, without covetousness a life without competition a life without worry that's the type of life you should be living based on facts not by faith peace